Wi-Fi hotspots are becoming more and more prevalent, but some just don't feel safe doing sensitive transactions while jacked into a communal connection. That's where pocket Wi-Fi devices come in handy. Juliet takes a look. If you travel abroad with your cell phone, only to get back and nearly die of shock from the massive bill you've racked up. So you now switch off your data roaming, but find yourself stuck, not being able to use your phone, hopping from one coffee shop to another, trying to find free Wi-Fi. Research has shown that almost half of the users worldwide connect to the internet using portable devices as the primary connection device. But just how safe is a Wi-Fi hotspot? I have no idea that hackers could access my personal information when I've used the Wi-Fi hotspots at the airport or in a popular coffee shop. When you log into your emails, or any site for that matter, the computers have to send that login information across the network, which is perfect for scammers. The only way to protect yourself from potential hackers is to secure your own Wi-Fi access. A device such as Pocket Wi-Fi can be a solution. Craig, what exactly is Pocket Wi-Fi? Uh, what Pocket Wi-Fi does is it allows you to take the internet wherever you travel. So really at the end of the day, when you go to a country, you land, you need connectivity, most people would probably go to a Wi-Fi hotspot or buy a SIM card. Uh, this negates all of that in that you just, you can turn it on and you get your internet connection with you and you can share that inter -connect internet connection with up to five users. How does it work? There's a lot of technology behind it. There's a global platform which we've set up um, and at the end of the day, it's one device. It's got our SIM card in it and when you go into a country, effectively what it's doing is it's registering on our partner's network and connecting you over their mobile infrastructure to the internet. Another issue when traveling for business is finding a Wi-Fi hotspot or only being able to access it in your hotel lobby and not in your room, forcing you to work in a public place with not much privacy or quiet. How is this device beneficial to business travelers? So the key thing for business travelers is what we're seeing is business travelers tend to travel with multiple devices and they tend to go in and out of countries in a rush, a couple of days, and they tend to be traveling on multiple countries. So again, those options of buying a local SIM card or connecting to public Wi-Fi is not suitable to a business traveler because it's not convenient. So rather than the cost, I mean, the 95% cost savings are a huge benefit, but it's ultimately it's about convenience. If you're without a device such as Pocket Wi-Fi, make sure you recognize the hotspot name. Even check the spelling, as you will find names that closely resemble the official one. And always be wary of unsecured hotspots where you don't need to enter a password to gain access. How do hackers actually gain our personal information from Wi-Fi hotspots? You, you sit with your computer or your phone and it needs information from the internet. So information has to come in and out of your devices. Mm -hmm. That comes in through ports. Uh, effectively those ports are where your devices are vulnerable. So a hacker can try and find out which port they can get through to gain access to your, to your information. Would you know if your information's been hacked? It's really difficult because at the end of the day uh, the computers or the hackers are trying to access your ports and you, the only way you might know is that if you're being spoofed, so if you go into a public Wi-Fi hotspot and you look for a network and it says uh, Joe's Cafe and you connect to that but it's actually somebody's site that's Im being an imposter mm. to Joe's Cafe, they basically grab your information, put it on their computer and then pass it on to Joe's which they can go at a later stage and decrypt. So you might notice a very slight difference in the speed, it might slow down ever so slightly but generally in a public hotspot you're not aware of the speed because it's congested and um, you know, th there is no measure to speed, so it's, it's, it's almost impossible to know wh whether somebody's actually intercepting your traffic or not. You never want to get that call informing you that your bank account has been cleared out, and you definitely don't want someone stealing your identity and going on a shopping spree online. Be aware and pay attention to detail. If you don't trust a hotspot, rather wait until you find one you do trust. Otherwise, go back to the good old-fashioned way of life before technology.